Hello my friends, it's Saturday and I am talking to you, not a military update at all. I'm talking to you as a man or as a person, not as a military blogger. And in this video, I, I guess it's gonna be unedited, just from my iPhone. Um, so there might be pauses, there might be unfinished thoughts. So if you don't have much time, then maybe this video is not for you. But I want to talk about my mental health or mental health in general. Um, in, in 2022, when the war started, I didn't have much of a choice. I immediately plunged myself into covering this war. Um, the first month of war was really hectic. It, it, so much stuff was happening. And since, you know, I'm from Estonia, Estonia is next to Russia. We are much smaller and weaker than Ukraine. And if Russia is attacking Ukraine, and if this ends in any other way than Russia's defeat, Estonia is next. So for me, it was always personal. It was always connected to fear for my future or for my family's future, or for my future potential children connected to fear about myself, about, I just took out a mortgage at that time, about that also, any kind of future. So I just knew I need to do it. I need to cover this war. I need to get the information out there. So I woke up in the morning and I did a video for European viewers. And during the nighttime, 12, a, 12 midnight to 6 a.m., I did live streams for USA viewers, six hour live streams first month of war was so hectic, so much was happening, so you could, you could do that. Right now there's not that much happening on the fronts. And I slept three to four hours a night for the first month and I almost burned out with that. Uh, so I stopped. I had to stop. But I felt guilty for stopping and then I just did daily updates from there on. I didn't do the live streams anymore. I, I stopped the live streams, I mean, because I needed to sleep at night, because even with sleep, being a military blogger about Russo-Ukrainian war is, for me at least as a YouTuber, waking up at 8 a.m. in the morning like a normal person, going behind my computer, opening it up, and then looking up through all of the events that have happened in the past 24 hours. About half of these events have videos, about one-tenth of these videos involve close quarters, blowing people to bits, uh, death, violence, gore in real life on the battlefield. And that is 8 a.m. in the morning, first time in the morning with my coffee. So I guess you can imagine how good that is to, you, to your mental health. And yes, I, I want to say a disclaimer that I really enjoy what I do. I love making videos and I like being a military blogger. Not the fact that I like this war. No, I, I wish it was over and wish Ukraine was free and Estonia didn't have to worry, but until this war is over, I will be a military blogger. And I'm not really given any kind of thought or even room for thought in my head of how this affects me in the long term or even in the short term. I just do it. I do it and I do it for the very first, even if not even the first day of full scale invasion. I started doing this in January when Russia was massing forces on the Ukrainian border. I remember already with fear of making these videos uh, declaring to everybody like this will happen, this will happen and boom, then it happened and I lost it. I started just ignoring my needs and just doing it full time. And now I've, I've gotten to a tempo that is much more friendly. I sleep, I wake up, I am, as I said, I work. I make the video for 5 p.m. Estonian time because then USA or European audiences can watch it at the same time. It's the best time. So and, th and then I'm, I'm done with work. But the thing is, I, I do it every day. And I love doing it. But I begin to feel, I begin to feel the mental effect on it. Like, like we're talking about Russia's sanctions on Russia, you know. Oh, it's gonna take time, it's gonna take, they're gonna feel it. Well, I feel these sanctions or the covering this war, the sanctions for me, the long-term effect is here. Because in this summer of 2023, I have started to feel it. The fear, the anxiety. Um, in June, for example, the views were really up and a lot of the stuff was happening as a YouTuber also. I mean, this is my main job and main income and my 
part of my personality of who I am and every time the views go down I feel it and also monetarily I feel it because it's my income July was also a lot of was happening and then came August suddenly I guess uh, most people in Europe and in the United States are going to vacations in August and the views dropped not, not that much was happening on the battlefields plus I got COVID like I got bad COVID couldn't work out so views drop COVID plus my workout was like one of my main ways to you can say I work out so it's one of my ways to keep myself healthy and I, I couldn't do it because I was so weak and you put all of these things together and and yeah that's a lot of anxiety and you couple that with just doing a military blog as a personal daily job and you get a very dangerous mixture so this is why I'm now back on antidepressants I, I'm on Zoloft and when I say I'm back on antidepressants I want to say because I was already this is the second time I, the first time was 2020 if you know me long enough if you're a new subscriber perhaps you don't know but I already took them one and a half years in 2020 before the war started 2020 August 2021 to 2022 January 2022 January one month before the war started I started going off my antidepressants because I was cured and that was coupled with psychiatry psychology regularly I was working on myself and getting myself back on my feet mentally working out a lot eating healthy and I got my life back and then war started and immediately I didn't have a choice in my eyes okay I'm gonna do this because Ukrainians they don't have a choice and other Estonians don't have a choice when war comes here so I have to do this but I forgot forgot about myself and I, I want to say a disclaimer in between here before I go on that I am incredibly thankful for being able to do this as a job I enjoy what I do and also I want to give here a shout out to the patrons because throughout my last depression 2020 to 2022 i was some days incapacitated in a way that not drunk but i couldn't work couldn't make videos back then and i had patreons patreons were really good to me they gave me the stability they if if i went to patreon i saw that okay i can really be sick if i want to i can be sick and repair myself properly and not force myself to work and I did that and it took a lot of time. It took 18 months, day by day of fighting, feeling the patron support, the support of my family, and I got out of it. So thank you patrons, if you were there back then and if you are here now, thank you so much. You're giving me so much more than just like the amount that you signed up for one dollar or whatever. It's so much more, I see these names and sometimes when I'm tired or I cannot upload, I see are like not leaving immediately it's i i it's like a security net for me honestly i just want to let you know how much this means to me it's uh i grew up in a family where money was the main and one of the only things people thought about so for me it connects to a lot of anxiety so this is why i, I just want the patrons to know how much you guys have given me so thank you for that thank you yeah and now i'm sick again i am again a disclaimer i'm taking care of myself i'm now on a zoloft which means i'm on a path of admitting that i have a problem searching for help i went to a i know i got a diagnosis i actually got an adhd diagnosis also i need the test i have adhd did you <laughs> what but I also have anxiety disorder. This time it's not depression. Depression was 2020. This time is anxiety disorder. It is, but it's connected to depression close enough. So they gave me Zoloft. I'm taking three days now and being going through this 2020 depression and knowing how depression works, it does not get, get better on its own. It needs pushing it needs fighting it needs perhaps even chemistry sometimes which is antidepressants i know my way this time okay i got the pill on me 
I'm working out. I'm seeing a psychologist and, and psychiatrist both actually. I'm, I'm taking care of myself as good as I can because I think if, if this is okay, my mental health is okay, I can make videos for you because if I'm broken, I cannot do this. So why I'm making this video is I, I just feel like a lot of people watch me and they, some of the comments say that they rely on me on, on information and regular believable information, which means I have to be in a good condition and and again i love what i do but I'm mentally i'm not in that good of a condition uh so I'm, I'm just gonna take care more the only thing i'm saying in this video i'm gonna make videos five times a week and i'm gonna continue this hopefully for a long time but i'm just letting you know that i'm taking good care of myself uh, i'm trying to look out for myself for example today Saturday, I usually work on weekends also on other stuff than YouTube. I have more stuff. I didn't work and I feel so guilty. I feel guilt. I don't know if you know this feeling for n feeling guilty for not working. I feel like I'm failing in my life right now because I didn't do anything. I burned candles only and just like tried to read a book which didn't work out. So I'm feeling. Uh, and this is why I want to share because I, I don't feel good. I'm talking to you, talking to the camera actually, but you are behind the camera and you comment and I read the comments later and that makes me feel good. So this is why I make this video. I want to feel good. It's an honest truth. So in the end, I also want to give a shout out to Jake Bro because I, I talked to him, you know, I'm not feeling that good. Cool. The views down for you also. And he has been so supportive. We only had like minor conversations, but he's a wonderful guy, very supportive, he's a lot older than me, so I guess he has some more um, experience about this stuff, you know, I'm actually a young guy. So thank you, Jake, for being such a supportive man. And if you haven't subscribed to Jake, go and subscribe to him also. Jake Pro, military blogger from America. And yeah, I wanna end this video again saying thank you for being there. I really enjoy making videos for you. I want to do it as long as I can. It's one of my favorite things. And thank you to the patrons for keeping me, um, giving the security net for me, really lifting me up. I, I feel the support when you're a patron, you can just, you, you know that you have changed one person's life. And thank you for being there and watching my videos. It means so much to me, much more than perhaps it should, because then I'm very vulnerable, which was one of, part of the problem, you know, and I'm working on it. But thank you. And I hope your day goes wonderful and you can achieve anything you want. All right, signing off. Until my next video, my friends, stay cool and bye bye.